welcome. I'm Jeremy Tanner and this is Ohio Prospecting. And uh, on this episode today, we're going to do a bit of high banking at one of my favorite spots. Because uh, the last spot, as you all know, my dredge wasn't running exactly the way I wanted it to. The first run, I did not have my uh, cone attached properly and it was blowing material back out. So if I would have had that hooked up correctly, I would have had a good run. So that's why I decided to come to this claim today. I want to see some bigger gold and a little bit better shiny. <laughs> so that's why we came to this claim. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get ready to do the first test pan. Okay, so test pan ain't working out too well today. And uh, if I know this claim like I do, the gold's a lot deeper than what I can find on the surface today. And from what I see here, I've seen a lot of high floods that have been coming through here lately because there's a lot of big boulders that have been moved down into here that weren't here last time that I was here. So this uh, little creek has definitely seen some water action, which tells me the gold has been turbulently dropped down to the clay bed line, which is what we're going to try to hit today. So let me get my equipment set up and uh, we're going to work. This general direction where Jaden's sitting at the front of the boulders over here. Right here there's a nice uh, drop zone where you can tell everything comes behind that boulder by his feet. Drops down into a little gully right there. It's just been really turbulently uh, mixed around so let's set up. And uh, yeah. <laughs> also brought one of our good friends out on the creek. What's up Peter? <laughs> So let me get to it. Be right back with you guys in a minute. So I've since continued on from there and I decided to move up to here because my last spot I was working was right where Jaden is. So I'm going to work this section right here and continue on the big section of gold that I was working last time. Because it doesn't look like anybody's been touching it lately. And it looks like we've had good amount of floods that came through here. It's a pretty good little turbulent spot right there. But that's all concrete underneath of there. Kind of flat too. But it does drop off over there. And I'm going to let that spot accumulate for a while. So that way I have a good spot to work in the winter. So yep. We're going to set up right here. Gas power today. Alright so I'm going to work this area right in here. And I'm going to dig a big old pit today. I might throw you guys up on the time lapse, but I might try to keep them in shorter little clips. I don't know yet. So yeah, let's push on. Okay, so my uh, first tank of gas is already completed. Got a nice little tailing pile. A much bigger hole than I got done when I was out dredging with uh, that same gas pump hooked up to the dredge. And that was with two tanks of gas, and this hole's even bigger with the first tank of gas. That's just because I can do a lot more damage with a shovel than I can with that inch and a half uh, dr nozzle on there. And I'm not seeing much in the cleanup, well, the mat, anyway, besides a big old piece of pyrite right there. But, uh, 
Yeah, Ohio Gold's pretty elusive. It's probably sitting down in the black sand in the cells. So, uh, yeah, let me get this all down into my cleanup bucket. Which is decorated with all these nice, fine prospectors here. Very nice. And let's not forget Buffalo Chris. What's up, brother? And my friend Peter. What's up? <laughs> I got your shirt on today. Well, as I was doing some more exploring on the tiniest big crick ever, I came amongst the Golden City. <laughs> A little rock city that the boys had made while I was working over here. <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. And they even found a little rock in the shape of Ohio. Check that out. Ohio gold. Yeah, I decided to take a break on the second tank. Getting hot. Here's a look at the hole already. Not too bad. It's right around here. All the way up into here by the grass. Not trying to go up into the grass because uh, we're not really allowed to. So I'm staying right below it and going right in here. And we're and I've already hit a couple of really big rocks down in here that I'm going to try to clean around. So once I get all the majority of the gravel cleared out and around the big rocks down there, then I'm going to get the hand pump out and we're going to hand dredge the bottom of the hole. So I want to see how much gold's laying down in this specific little spot. A little bit shaky there. There we go. At least they're not playing video games. What are your kids doing? <laughs> Man, I'm proud of these kids. Getting out and playing in the creek and stuff like I did as a kid makes me proud. One day I hope to see them out doing this. All right, I'll be get back with you guys in a bit. Yeah, I just uh, filled up my third tank. I didn't do a second clean out yet. I left it in there this time. Since you don't, since I don't see any uh, visible gold on top, it's fine to turn the pump back on after letting it shut off for a bit. And uh, my son Jaden wanted to show you guys one of the crayfish he caught. Check out this guy. Pretty good size. <laughs> 
There's my finger next to it. Let's see if he'll grab on it. Come here, buddy. <laughs> uh, we'll let him go here in a minute. I'm about to kick it back on, do a third run. I did do some uh, hand dredging, which is still in the bucket. I got to run that through there as well. Maybe I'll have one of the boys scoop, uh, scoop it at a time while I'm digging in the hole. So yeah, let me get back at it. And I'll see you guys at the house in a bit. Okay, so I'm back at the house and these are the concentrates from both of the high banking runs. These concentrates here are from my hand dredge that I forgot to run through the high banker, so I'll run those separate. And also, I did hit a clay bottom out there. So this time I actually brought it back. And I'm going to make a separate video out of just this clay right here. Because I want to see if there's any gold trapped containing in this clay. It Was it acting like a false bottom? And is there any gold trapped within it? So, that'll be a separate video. No matter on how little bit of gold there is in it, I just want to see how much, what kind of gold, etc. Anyways, so, let me get this all ran down, and I'll be right back with you guys. So, how did I do out on this awesome trip with the boys? Not too bad. Look at that piece up there, man. That's definitely a nice poker. Almost a picker. <laughs> Pretty nice. Decent little chunky. I told you there's some decent, decent chunky gold laying beyond that gravel and sand sitting on top of that clay. And I believe that's where these bigger pieces had came from, sitting on top of that clay. And that's exactly why I brought it back home and let it dry out like this. And I will show you guys that on another video. Let's see if this contains any gold. We'll do that on a separate video. You guys will have to stay tuned for that. So let's go ahead and give this a nice little zoom in. Take a look at this gold up close. If I got to, I'll dry it out and we'll take another look, which I probably do anyway. This is times three. Not bad. And look at that nice piece up there. Pretty. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty excited whenever I found it in the cleanup sluice. I'm like, geez, I knew there was some nice looking gold out there. So that's all I got time for today. So, uh, oh wait, yeah, let me get this dried up. Be right back. Alright, so we're back. It's all dried up. Very nice. Let it focus in. Let's take a look up close. It's a very nice piece. There's some nice little chunky pieces in here. And just goes to show you, when you get down to that clay, really try to work and scrape the top of that clay as best as possible because there might be some really nice gold sitting on top of it. And that's not to say that there might not still be some really nice gold sitting on top of the clay, even in that spot I was working. As I barely exposed the top of that clay, but maybe a two-foot circle around the top of it. If I was to clear from one side to the other and work the entire top of that clay, I'd have a pretty good amount. So, yeah, as long as you put in the time and the effort, you can get a nice amount in Ohio. But there is some nice gold in Ohio. And there's some even better gold in some other claims that I'll show you here real, real soon. So, if you like this video, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you out on the next one. Later.